I think you're only supposed to start your videos off with a crazy face. It's a rule of life. So, so I just got done from the gym, dropping the kids off at school, and I had some really good thought time this morning. So, uh, I wanted to share a few of those thoughts with you, and it happens a lot of times. I rock in my relentless shirt for the Royals and sit in my truck, and I'm like, I really think um, there's a missing part of this equation uh, that people don't hear much about when it comes to success. Uh, and the key word for that is obedience. Obedience. Uh, Lori and I were talking about this the other day, uh, and I'm going to relate this in a couple of ways, right? Um, first of all, let's talk about working out the gym. Like, I hate working out. I hate it. Um, but what I hate even more is the example that I'm setting for my kids of not working out, um, of letting my life go, of being too big. And I've been going to the gym now for over a month. I've been obedient to that task. There's been so many mornings, and this morning was one of them, man, where I did not want to go to the gym. I, I just didn't. But I know that my obedience is, is maybe the biggest part, at least right now, to my success. Um, obedience is what's making me do what I'm doing, right? I know I have a purpose. I know I have a passion. And so that's what we talk a lot about, especially in our business. Like you've got to understand your why you've got to understand what you're doing. You've got to find your purpose. You've got to find your passion. And I think those things are true. Um, but sometimes you have to be obedient before you can find those things. And I, we don't hear much about that. And Lori related it really well the other day. And she was talking about her spiritual life. Uh, talking about God. She grew up um, in a very um, strict Southern Baptist home, um, there was a lot of a lot of legalist uh, thought pass, process there, and so sometimes that was tough, right? And um, you know, finding your path and loving Jesus your own way is important. We've got a really good guidebook that tells us exactly how to do that, but everyone interprets that a lot differently. And you know, it's easy to be critical of an upbringing that's challenging like that. Um, but Lori looks back and she says, you know what? I'm really thankful because my parents taught me obedience first. They taught me to be obedient to the task. Like I didn't always feel like going to church. I didn't always feel like going to a small group. I didn't always feel like reading my Bible. But my, my mom and dad were big on being obedient. They were big on being obedient. And and then at the gym this morning, I was thinking, man, we don't talk much about obedience. Because, uh, well, first of all, I, I think a lot of us don't even understand that. But secondly... Obedience is not fun to talk about. Like we, There are so many things that we do that we don't necessarily want to do or like to do. And that paints some kind of a dark picture. Like, oh, we're a bad person because we don't like the things that we're doing. Well, sometimes to find our true passion, to find our true heart, we have to be obedient to the task to find that. Um, just like in our relationship, our walk with Christ, man, we've got to be obedient to the word. We've got to be obedient to our parents. We've got to be obedient to our church going. There are so many things that we have to be obedient to first before we find success with that relationship. And so our business is exactly the same way. I'm laughing. <laughs> Cody, I see you. I've not ignored you. And I've not ignored you either, Drea. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for the hearts. Um, but I just, I feel like that's a, that's a missing part of the equation we don't talk much about. And so today I wanted to encourage you. When it comes to working out, when it comes to your business, when it comes to finding Jesus, man, be obedient to the task at hand. Have a vision. Set a vision. Find your passion. But a lot of that passion, the path to passion starts with obedience. So be obedient. And that's not always easy. So I want to encourage you today. Obedience, man.